Hey guys, what is up? Rory here with another Dolphin video comparison and this week we are looking at Metroid Prime 3 Corruption for the Wii. Now, as with the first and second Prime games on the GameCube, Retro really pushed the Wii with Corruption and you know it looks good but it could definitely look better and that's what we're going to achieve here today with the help of the Dolphin emulator. I'm going to stop talking now and just let you watch the rest of this clip so you can get a feel for what the game looks like just running on the Wii natively at 480p. Okay, now, this is the same game, running on the Dolphin emulator, at a resolution of 2560 by 2112 uh, captured at 1080p. We're also running 16 times coverage sample anti-aliasing, and 16 times anisotropic texture filter. Now, straight away, you're going to notice that the game looks much sharper, and the image much cleaner. You can really appreciate what an amazing job the guys at Retro did with the texture work here, and also the fantastic art direction. You know, this is an emulator, so it's not perfect. There are always going to be a few problems. Uh, for example, the black bar at the bottom of the screen you can see there. I'm not entirely sure what causes that, and as far as I can see, there's no fix for it. Um, also, you can see here that certain effects, such as the bloom lighting, are not displayed correctly. So, for me, the game is not 100% playable from start to finish on the emulator. It's more of an experiment than anything. But I'm sure you'll agree, it looks fantastic. Anyway, enjoy. If you've been watching our series of Dolphin videos, you'll have noticed that this is actually the first time where we've done a voiceover. So do let us know in the comments below if you prefer that, or if you'd rather just look at the pretty pictures next time. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments, we do try to answer as many as we can. And also, why not make a suggestion for a game that we've not yet covered? Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe, and check out thepixelpress.co.uk for more gaming goodness.